What's good everybody, iPies Gaming here and welcome back to another Mass Effect 2 video. If you missed episode 1, you guys can go ahead and click in the upper right hand corner of the little i button right now. Hopefully if it works because my other thing wasn't working yesterday. Anyway, that's a different thing. Um, and if you want to see the whole playlist, it will be down in the description below so you can just have all the videos in one little area. And um, yeah, so if you missed yesterday, you can go ahead and watch episode 1, but besides that, let's just get going. Uh, so it's like we have a little data pad right here. Okay, so this is different, so you gotta find the same thing that looks like this. Wait, how does this... How do you do this one? Oh, 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 got it, got it, got it. So... I forget from last year, I guess. Okay, so that's the first time I did that one. I had no clue to do it, so that's why it was really slow, but hopefully we can do that faster. We got 900 credits. Uh, what's down here? What's in here real quick. Is this the way we're supposed to be going? Oh, yep. There we go, we got that one. Seems good. Oh, some ammo over here. So I thought of an idea. I'm. I don't know if you guys can tell me what you guys think about it in the description below. But what I was thinking is that what I would do is I would. Um, I would do all of the. Um, I would do all the side missions in like a live stream type of thing. So because you know the side missions take a long time. So the main things that I would record and put on YouTube instead of just live stream it would be like the loyalty missions. For the most part, and like, um, would be probably like the loyalty missions and stuff like that. You know, I don't know what else I would do. Okay. Um, those are the only side missions that are kind of mandatory if you want everybody to, you know, if you want to live in the end, everybody to. So, you know, tell me what you guys think about that. What was that one? I need that green one. Oh, there's one right there. Oh wait, that was um, I so bad at this one, I guess. Wait, isn't that? Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. Wait, hold on, wait, what? Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at this one. I don't think we're gonna get this one, guys. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I just started. Do I have? Oh, okay, so we can do it over and over again. It's that one. Wait. Yeah, yeah, that was. That wasn't it. This one? No, that's not it. That one? Okay. And then right writing, green in the middle. Right writing. And that one. Boom. Alright, so we got that one. This one's so much dif more difficult than the, you know, Test subject has other been recovered, one. but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. Okay, cool. This this one's so much easier. That one's a lot easier and quicker. Remember on the 360, it was like that too. All right, here we go. Um, I think that's all that's in this area, right? I don't see anything. I think this is where Miranda is over here. Just want to make sure. Yeah. So we'll go in here. So yeah, you guys can tell me uh, what you guys think about that little idea I had. Uh, about live streaming the side missions and then I mean if you guys even want to see the side missions or if you want to see me record it go ahead and put that down in the comments below Come on through here. We're almost at the Miranda, but you are Dead What the hell are you doing? My job Wilson betrayed us all 
my fault. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, uh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Scars are so annoying, man. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Yep, that was correct, so this important did work. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel, after the Alliance saved the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? I remember, um... It didn't take from your option from Mass Effect 1, so this is where you can choose whoever took the Council, so I'm gonna say Anderson did, because that's what I selected in Mass Effect 1. Humanity was offered a spot on the Council. I recommended Captain Anderson for the position. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Counselor Anderson. Though from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. Still, good to know that the human council member isn't going to put politics ahead of defense. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Alright, we're back here. Uh, don't we get like some armor or something? I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Right here. Let's see what we got. Armor. Type. 
We got that. Sir. Okay, that looks stupid. No helmet. Helmet. Okay. Now does this uh, now does this change anything? Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, we'll we'll look at other armor later. We well, you know. That cheat code, you feel me? <laughs> That's what we did last year. <laughs> so yeah, we got nothing else besides that and the Cerberus armor. I'm just gonna keep this on for now. And casual appearance. I know we got a couple outfits. I'm just gonna stick with this one. So yeah, I didn't change anything yet, but we'll buy armor or we'll, you know, get those spe get the special armor. <laughs> Let's talk to the lucid man. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier. One of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest.
Okay. That's a lot of achievements. Um, so I'm gonna go talk to Miranda and Jacob. Where are they? Over here. I guess Jacob's the only one that you can really talk to, isn't he? Yeah. I thought Miranda was here, around here somewhere. Hold on, I just want to look. No, I guess not. You know, uh, last time I remember playing this, which was a while ago, so... Anyway, we'll, um... Go ahead and look at all this stuff for the squad, okay? Okay, look at that, no renegade. Only paragon. I know in this game you have to get... Uh, you will get renegade. You have to do some renegade choices. So, anyway, um, I'm gonna do one in here. All right, how many do we get? We get four. So I'll do one in here. I'll do one. I'll do two in charge. And I think that's all we can do for now. Yep. Um, I definitely want to get the pull. So how do we get the pull? We have to get extra shock rave rank two. And this will unlock pull. And pull is one of my favorite ones to use, so I'll definitely get this one started next. Actually, I can pull one in here, can I? Awesome. There we go. Go to my journal, see what we have. So we have two new ones, Freedom's Progress and Awakening. Okay, and no assignments yet. So let's talk to Jacob. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Plus four Paragon. We're running about 18 minutes. Okay. Oh, new heavy weapon. Awesome. Okay. Now, I forget if this is the game where that the less weapons you hold... No, I think that's Mass Effect 3. Okay, yeah, that's Mass Effect 3, I think. I don't know if that applies to this one, too. Like, the more weapons you hold, the less... Um, biotic, like it will be faster, biotic or whatever. So we'll worry about that next game. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack. No corpses. Not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. So I forget how long this mission is, but I'll try to get it all. If, if it starts running too long, then I'll um, I'll probably cut this this mission into two episodes. So. Let's get 
the start. Let me see if I have any. Okay, yeah, I do. Have, okay, so I have a grenade launcher, machine pistol, this shotgun, and then this pistol. I'm gonna. This shotgun only has 15. This machine, this the M4. I remember the M4. Um, I don't know if this is a burst. I guess we'll try it out for now, and then we'll switch it out later. So I don't think there's anything here. So let's just get right into it. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. <laughs> right. Doesn't look like anything's over here. Oh, right, I remember about that. On my way! So, does one go here and one go here? Right there. Loki forget how to do this. Upgrade these guys first. Put one in these. Put one in these. Jacob will put one in here. One in here. Let me look at these options real quick. Oh man, these are so much different than um I haven't also I haven't played in a while, but they're so much different than what they were last year too. Is it C? Yeah, I think it's C. Understood. Right. Right behind you. Sure thing. Yep. That like okay, so I don't like this pistol <laughs> already. So we'll stick to this one for now. Warning, hostile forces and non-standard ammunition. Rerouting power. Not no shield. So we'll use overload. He goes. Shoot them before they take out the shield. On target. Engaged. I keep wanting to click space to um use these attacks. Got him. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Any ammo around? No. All right. So let's go into here. Okay. Cool. Med kit. I don't think I need a a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Cool. Do one of these real quick. I don't know why it's not working. There we go. It kept like switching off every time I clicked it, so that was weird. Alright, 2,000 credits. We're gonna need those to buy that, you know. All that other Attention stuff. Right. Get over here. <clears throat> yeah, I got you. Don't worry. Do we go in here already? Let's see what we got in here. Stop right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. 
Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me, it was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. <laughs> Alright, with that, guys, I'm going to end it here. So if you guys like the video, definitely go ahead and give it a like. If you want to keep up on my Mass Effect 2 Let's Play series, then definitely go ahead and subscribe. I'm also going to be releasing some other content like NBA 2K16 and um, other video games when they come out. Um, and when Mass Effect Andromeda comes out at the end of this year, when early next year, whenever it comes out, I'll definitely have coverage on that right away. Um, uh, share it wherever. All my social links are down there, my Twitter and everything like that. So I'll see you in the next one.